Yes guys, good evening to all. I'm going to do a video now of Paris Hill to enjoy it. Starting from the mural graphics here at Paris Hill. Oh, walk through Paris Hill here by St. Anne's Church. This is where to take you by the Bathsheba via the Grand Adam Memorial Secondary School, which is once West St. Joseph's Comprehensive School. And it will take you back to Horace Hill and St. Elizabeth Village, all in St. Joseph and back on the East Coast. This way back to Market Hill and the Andrews Factory. the Andrews factory and all into the St. George Valley from here with Golden Ridge and um, with Golden Ridge and Sweet Vale, Sweet Bottom area. These are all the mural graphics here on the walls here. These murals were done here between 1996-97 by residents of the area. This is another Andrews factory. You know the front Andrews sugar factory which was closed. Down in 2013 under the last government because they wanted to we um, we opened it as a multi-purpose factory, but that plan did not work out. So the factory is just there now with a highway fence surrounding it to keep away trespassers. So this is where we about the Andrews factory and back to St. George of Sweet Bottom, Sweet Vale area, and Market Hill, Golden Ridge, Groves, anywhere in St. George. Is this direction and back to town, back to Bushtown. So Horace Hill is another steep hill in St. Joseph, which was cut down either in the late 80s or early 90s by Dan Mezi Barkovac, who was a member of parliament for St. Joseph. And she's the one who got Horace Hill um, leveled down for being so steep. Horace Hill is just up the road from here. Andrews Factory, the Cairn Ground opposite Andrews Factory. And this is the detail of the Parasol project. So I'll make my way up to St. Anne's Church. Yeah, shortly. All the murals here. And this is the garden dedicated to the late Burton Burt Mears, who is also a relative of mine. All the paintings here. All the land faces here.
All the land, all the animals here. And grip and this cut rock. So I'm making my way to Paris Hill over to St. Anne's Church. And back at the paintings here on the walls here at Paris Hill. All up in Paris Hill, St. Joseph. Paris Hill, St. Joseph here. Heading to St. Anne's. So St. Joseph is this parish which, which my mother was born and raised. My mother, one of my aunts and two uncles were born and raised. Here in St. Joseph. New house is being built here. The old shop building has been knocked down. This is the Paris Hill New Testament Church here in the background on top of this hill. Back up to Paris Hill and the Testament Church. Heading up to St. Anne's. Church, St. Anne's Anglican Church. All up in Paris Hill. So this is the beautiful Scotland countryside here in the parish of St. Joseph. My mother went to school at St. Anne's. My mother, one of my aunts and two uncles, received their primary education at St. Anne's. And my grandmother and grandfather are all buried at St. Anne's Cemetery in the churchyard. And this is all the gully here. St. Anne's Church, St. Anne's Churchyard. St. Anne's Anglican Church, where my grandmother and grandfather are all laid to rest.
So the church is situated on top of the hill here at Paris Hill, St. Joseph. St. Anne's Anglican Church. So this is the world here, but it's about the Sugar Hill, via Airy Hill and Lamings, and the St. Bernard's Primary School. So this is the lady back to Sugar Hill, Airy Hill, Lamings, and the St. Bernard's Primary School. Up in here, this is the back to Paris Hill, and this is where the St. Anne's Church. Retreat Road is also through here. I think through here is Retreat Road. This road here is known as Retreat Road. That will be back to Lamings, Airy Hill, and Sugar Hill. Walking up towards St. Anne's. There are building houses up in here now. Once upon a time, there were no houses. But I see there are building houses somewhere up in here now. And this is the church cemetery in which my grandmother and grandfather are all laid to rest. St. Anne's Anglican Church. Oh, I think not being built. And this is the St. Anne's Primary School building, which is now the school hall. This is where my mother received her primary education. My mother, one of her aunts and two uncles received their primary education here at St. Anne's Primary School. And this is all St. Anne's Church. Here, here. St. Anne's Church was built in 1853 and consequently in 1855. Thank you guys for watching now. And do have a blessed evening. And stay tuned for more videos of Barbados.